Hello, this video is about Google Analytics versus Clicky. Um, these are two traffic tracking software uh, solutions that actually are pretty different when you really uh, get down into it. Uh, most people, I think, default to Google Analytics. It's free, it's Google, so it has sort of like this uh, kind of cachet around it. Uh, I think it looks a little prettier. It looks a little more modern. Um, but there are, and, and I have used it uh, to a significant degree, uh, but there are reasons, I think, to use Clicky and some pretty substantial differences in some ways uh, to the point to where I, I think that there's a, there's a, for a lot of people, Clicky will make sense versus uh, Google Analytics. Um, so first, let's let's talk about the pricing. So uh, Google Analytics actually has sort of like the normal one, just free for most people. Um, and then there's like an enterprise version. I believe it is $150,000 a year. So it's basically like free or something very massive. Um, and uh, so basically free. I think you can use Google Analytics as much as you want for free. So that's good. Um, that's uh, an advantage because Clicky does have a free level for one website with Google Analytics you're not limited to that um, and, but you know it's it's to me it's pretty small the the price of Google uh, of, of clicky and there are several big advantages the reason why I do use clicky as my primary uh, my, my primary uh, rank tracking or uh, traffic tracking software um, so there are a few things that it has that Google Analytics doesn't have um, they have heat maps um, and uptime monitoring. This can really help with conversions. Um, and uptime monitoring is is uh, pretty useful. There's some additional things that it has, like Spy. Like you can actually watch and see what a visitor does. Um, it integrates a little bit better uh, with like WordPress in terms of being able to kind of use it at the same time. You can go onto WordPress and you can kind of see who's on your site uh, right then. Um, and but uh, there's the two there's two main reasons why I would suggest considering uh, using Google Google uh, I'm using clicky over analytics so first of all um, clicky the, the to get to the information that I want it's so much faster and easier than analytics analytics gives a lot of information a lot of it is not really that important uh, to me and I just don't like the way that they display the information as well I, I find clickies again to be easier to read and faster to get to what I want um, like here there's just this is really really busy and there's a lot of stuff on here that I, you know it just like do I really need to know this I mean maybe um, I, I'm not sure again to me like when I look at this I, I don't my, my brain doesn't see information over here it just sees noise and over here um, they do a lot about sessions, which I don't think is uh, very useful. I think more what you're looking for uh, is users. Um, and for the same website, uh, we've got another one here. I think this is way cleaner. Um, and main, main to the main point, um, searches, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for search traffic and the difference between this time period and the previous time period, okay? That is really the difference. That's really the main thing that I'm looking for. And so uh, I feel like with Clicky, it's just much faster and easier to get to it. Uh, and that to me is significant and worth me paying. I think I pay, I have quite a few sites, so I think I pay like 30 bucks a month. Um, I'm, on, on, I'm on one of those plans, Some, somewhere in that range, 30 to 35, $37 maybe uh, per month. And uh, maybe I could reduce my sites and, and, and make that less expensive. But I mean, they have really inexpensive plans for as little as $10 a month. I mean, $10 a month is really low, in my opinion, for something that if it saves you time and energy. Uh, the other thing is that if you have multiple websites, you don't want to put all of your websites, if you have multiple clients, or if you have multiple kind of money sites or affiliate sites, you don't want to put them all on Google uh, Analytics, all on the same account, because if one of them gets hit by a penalty, um, it can affect the other ones. It's not common, but it has been um, it, it has been heard of uh, to, for that to happen, and that's pretty substantial, in my opinion, uh, a, a pretty big flaw in using Google Analytics is your primary um, your primary uh, rank tracking or uh, traffic tracking software. Uh, so that is um, going to be the, the main two reasons for me. Those two reasons right there are enough for me to justify switching. And I have been using Quickie happily for years. I don't even know how long. Um, and I always have, I have clients come in and ask me, oh, do you want me to show your analytics? I'm like, yeah, I have to kind of explain. That's, this is actually kind of one of the downsides. I have to explain like, yeah, I'm not like a big fan of analytics. 
Um, I, I kind of also don't, and this is a little bit, I don't know if this is more true for analytics, but it's definitely true for Google Search Console, the, the webmaster uh, tools. I don't really trust their data. I don't think they show the data is, they kind of are incentivized to a certain degree to hide certain data from you while Clicky is not. So you get more features, simpler data. So that's kind of, seems like you shouldn't be able to do that, but you can. Uh, uh, more and, and uh, you can have a bunch of websites without Google really being able to put together a, a very precise footprint. So in my opinion, uh, I would heavily recommend Clicky. I mean, Analytics is fine. It's free if you're just getting started out. Um, it's, it's not bad, but if you have a bunch of websites and you're concerned about a footprint, Clicky. Um, and if you're really trying to get in there and get out real quickly, which I don't want to spend too much time on this, then um, Clicky is also the way to go. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it um, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Uh, have a great day.